simply due to the fact your ultimate doesn't bring too much in a 1v1. And that's why the European AD carries that's one of the reasons. Keep trying to get involved in this one. Nocturne is still waiting around the side. And there it is, Jerry managing to get in towards Freeze. But it's Mithy that they want to turn around for. Exhaust goes on to Freeze. The Fear going to slow down Mithy. But there's a teleport coming in the back. Crimson goes low. A lot of damage. First blood comes in for Freeze. And now they turn it back around. Carnex is going to go down here as well. It's Sorrow Zero that picks that one up. And there we see how much these... Zero already being ganked once on this top side. Now that's going to happen for him here again down to half HP. Is he going to get locked up? There is the fear going off. This is a kill for Millennium. He goes over to Kevin on Rise. Perfect, perfect play by Connex. Coming. NIP away from the Dragon itself. Yeah, but Millennium again, they got a good position. They can rotate towards Midden if they want to. NIP though, the Dragon going very low. Here goes Jerry. Oh, there's the Solar Flare. Didn't really catch many of them, but there is the extra damage coming through. Zoro Zero going low. Alberto's going to die to Connex. And Zoro Zero needs to get away as well. Mithy now coming in from the side. There is the laser. Not doing masses of damage, but oh. a spear comes through and lands on Cottonex. Doesn't get the kill, but he will stay low. And now Nuke Duck in chase. Just saw Critson there. Spear lands onto him as well. He can keep chasing here. He knows that those spears already doing good amounts of damage. Carnix trying to lifesteal. Taking a lot of damage from the trap there that he just stood on. Also giving Nuke Duck the complete vision on that side. Critson turning around. Now j Ree's going to come in. Good flash from Nuke Duck. Gets him away from the Zenith player. So again, who's going to be able to take this one? It's going very, very low. Look at Nocturne, bottom side. Connex is going to come around, and he actually managed to smite it out as well. Alberto being trapped in there. Nip trying to turn this one around. Creighton goes low. One more spear from the side would do it here. And we see that Nuke Duck trying to get to the back of that Baron pit, trying wow. to get in. Oh, what a mega Inferno bomb from Kerb. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Actually, Jerry is going to step forward, manages to catch out Nuke Duck. They pile everything on top as Kevin comes from the backside. Myth is going to go down, and that will be a one for nothing there instantly from Millennium. Jay Re went low, but low is. Do anything about this one. In fact, he has stepped forward. There's the Mega Inferno wow. Bomb, and he's got it again. Kotonex smites away the dragon for a second time in a row. Who needs to fight for a dragon if you can just get in there at the last second and pick it? Yeah. Kogi, of course. Can't be some way from that. Going very aggressive on Kevin here. Laser coming through as well. I'm not sure that Kevin's getting away from this one with so many men actually onto him. Zoro Zero just dashing out of that tower aggro range. Comes back in. This turret is going down. That's the second one of the game. Fortney. Out of range of the turret though, and that's what Millennium maybe just wanted here. They're gonna take that turret down, but they have to move. Carnex is gonna catch a lot of damage. Nuke Duck dives onto him. There is the heal coming out, and now Creighton running for his life. Zoro Zero onto him gets the slowdown, and it is Zoro Zero that gets the kill in the end so they but here we go here we go teleport he's gonna be coming down there and there is nocturne diving into the back can't exist time though gonna go down before he can finish off the dragon a lot of damage coming through myth getting his laser off and now the spears will join as well in the end it's only that one for nothing but this dragon won't be stolen away by continent they focused him instantly when he went in there for that last one <laughs> Satchel Charge going to annoy them slightly. <laughs> they have to wait for that to go through. Hopefully waiting on the Engage bottom side. Engage is gone for them. There's another Satchel Charge just to annoy them so slightly. It's picked up in the end by Holbert. Imagine this one might stretch out a bit as well as they go in towards Nuke Duck. He will actually flash away. Already use that summoner heal as well. Have they got the damage? There's the Mega Inferno bomb. Wow, Nuke Duck dodged. actually dodged it. Ah, oh, he gets caught up there though. In the end, Kevin now falling low. He will just walk away. Freeze falls low. He uses a Valkyrie to get back. Out. That's the laser coming in as well from Velkos, and they managed to knock Millennium away. They have no idea that this one is actually going off, and there it is. Baron snuck in there from Ninjas in pajamas. There we see the bombs coming over in its own right. Strong poke from Millennium side as well. Yeah, but the curb, of course, decided to go. Oh, here's the engage. Gonna go in towards Nuke Duck. Actually, there's a lot of damage coming in from it. They dive right to the backside. Connex going for Mithy on this one. He's got two men actually trying to take him down, but he's got a Guardian Angel. And now he turns over towards Alberto. Can he actually get the kill? He's gonna go under the tower. Creighton takes a big hit. There's a Phosphorus Bomb. Not enough damage there to come through. Alberto did repel and was able to survive. So in the end, just a one for nothing. But it's an HP. But here, NIP, they need to do it now. One of you know, big spear from the side can be a big Baron stealing moment as they get the ward over. They see it, but it's too late. Millennium pick up the second Baron of the game. Relatively early, 
but the TF was a big part there and that's been banned away. Now Millennium going in. Crying off was used and they follow straight up with Connex diving into the middle of them. A lot of damage. Zoro Zero trying to keep them back, but he's going to fall. It's a shutdown and look at Connex. He does not care about the damage. He wanted to get onto Freeze. Has to maybe settle for Nuke Duck. Fear is going to go down. Connex now backs away. He's GA popped by a Spear actually in the end. And that is now Kevin being stunned up. It's not enough damage to finish him off. The bomb's bouncing in there. They've done enough to walk through. They managed to lock up New Duck as well. Not enough time though to get the finishing blow. But they take the inhibitor. They're going to have the inhibitor as well. Such a strong team fight again by Millennium. Connex goes to the back line. And actually, they can just go for a fight. Cornex again going to dive in again. The Scrying Orbs used. They've caught Nuke Duck out here. And there is the fear. The bomb comes in, uses the Zonyas, but as soon as he comes back up, he's dead. It's Cortinex that gets that one. Could try something. I think they're going to have to give this one away. We see Zoro Zero coming in on that bottom side. A little bit of damage here to Jerry and Kevin, but that Baron already going very, very low. Zoro Zero going to get in there. The Baron has gone, of course, over towards Millennium. Kerp actually jumping away there. They got the kill, so two men are down. 70 seconds spawn timer. Naray just doesn't really do any damage, and there is the surrender coming out. Four ninjas in pajamas. Millennium, go. 2-1 up.